Hey everybody, Dreaded Farmer, driving home from some training, uh, and I just had a question for you. You know, I was looking in scripture, and um, when Yeshua came before Pilate, um, he had told Pilate that he was here to testify to the truth. And it was interesting that Pilate's question was, what is truth? And, uh, and of course, Yeshua never answered it um, before being uh, hung on a tree and uh, crucified. So um, that's an interesting question in our day and age because, you know, if you ask me that question, I'd say truth is whatever God says is truth, right? Whatever is real, reality, the truth of his creation, the truth of his knowledge and wisdom, what has been given to us, that is truth. But if I were to ask a bunch of people, a bunch of different people, I'd probably get lots of different definitions. You know, it seems like the world we live in, truth is really defined by the individual person's experiences, you know. So it, something may be true for one person, but not true for another. And um, and I think that's interesting, especially uh, when you think about the Internet and all the information that's on the Internet and all these things that are, are kind of peddled around as fact. And, but we don't know. We don't know the full facts of some of these things, like how long uh, elephants have been around for thousands of years or millions of years or whatever, um, or the fact that you know the sun is 93 million miles away. Like, how do we know that? Did we measure it ourselves? Of course not. You know, um, but that is peddled off as fact. You know, just like. You know, you can go on the internet, Google any subject, and somebody has written a blog about it and has maybe uh, talked to a few people about it or maybe be quoting someone else that quotes someone else that quotes someone else. And by the time it gets to this blog, it's fact, but we haven't looked at the original source and maybe maybe the, the original source was incorrect. Maybe the reasoning was wrong. You know, so we, we end up having something that's, that's accepted as truth that may not be truth. Right, and then we also have a truth being a, a matter of perspective, right? So if if uh, someone is offended by another person, it's a matter of that person's perspective. Even if the original person did not mean to be offensive, or maybe they didn't even say anything that would be deemed offensive by anybody that is an expert in the English language, you know. Um, but yet that is truth for that person. You know, and I think it's it's very uh, very interesting how our society works today because we have so much information um, that that's being peddled around as fact or as truth, and much of it probably is not truth. You know, um, Scripture says, "Let God be the truth, and all men be liars." You know, and uh, I think that's what we are seeing is that there's a lot of what is considered truth that's really not truth. You know, I saw a video. Um, recently, a friend of mine posted, and it was the, the Church of Beyonce or something like that. I, I had a tough time watching it myself, and they were calling her a goddess and that she was the best representation of godliness on earth and all this kind of stuff. And I'm like, wow, you know, I've watched her perform, I've watched, you know, videos, and, and it seems to me, you know, based on scripture and based on the things that God wants from us, that she would be the exact opposite of the truth of that statement but yet there's a church in Atlanta Georgia I believe that literally worships her or uses her to get them closer to God and that's their truth that's the, the truth that they feel and you know that they're grabbing hold of instead of the absolute truth of God and his Messiah Yeshua so you know that's an interesting question about truth because I never really realized how deep a rabbit hole that really is. That word truth means so many different things to so many different people. Um, and it's, you know, we have we have a society, we live in a world that really um, rejects absolute truth. You know, they, they reject the things that are absolute truth because people don't want an absolute truth. They don't want something to be black and white. They want there to be a gray area. They want something that can fit their morals and their standards and their ideals. Um, yet, you know, it's not about our ideals, it's not about our standards, it's about his standards, it's about his truth. You know, and Yeshua came to testify of the truth. Matter of fact, he sent his spirit on believers that the spirit would also testify to truth and would convict us in truth. 
so so there's there's a truth that we might think is true but yet the spirit is convicting us so we know better we know that's not true we know that's just how we feel or that's what we want but it's not really the truth and i think that's very very important to kind of focus on is the fact that you know the spirit will convict you of truth so when something's not true your spirit will let you know and uh you know if, if you're not really yielding to the spirit then you know open up your bible open up your scripture and you'll see what's true and what's not you know and i think that's you know it's sad the world we live in and we have so much information that every, what everybody says everybody becomes an expert you know there's not there's not a moral code anymore you know it's whatever makes you feel better whatever makes you feel good you know so if it feels good to you and you're not hurting anybody then it should be right it must be true right um, but that's just not that's just not how it works um, so interesting conversation uh, between Yeshua and Pilate that you know he never really answered that um, before he died but yet we do get the answer all through scripture. I mean, there's a way that seems right to a man, but its end is the way of death. You know, so there's going to be things that in, in my own eyes, in my own mind, that I think, oh, this is the way it should be, or this is how it should be, or this is how I should be, or this is how I should act, or this is what's real and this is what's not. But it's really just my perception. It's not really my, it's not really reality. A lot of times our perception does not match up with reality. You know, you can talk to most people and you can see that they're not really working in the realm of reality in the actions and uh, in their thoughts on a daily basis. You know, we all have our own ideals and our ideals. We all have our own way of doing things. And then you can turn on the TV and all the commercials saying, have it your way, do it your way, do what you want, do what you feel. You deserve it. You deserve to have the things that you want. You know, follow your heart. Your heart won't lie. Yet... Scripture tells us the heart is desperately wicked. Desperately wicked. You know, so I don't think we should be following our heart on those things, you know. But, you know, that's that's a question that, you know, we all can ask each other. You know, what is truth? What really is truth? Is it the things that we see on TV? Is it the things that are in our textbooks? Is it what, you know, the government is telling us? Is it what the uh, tickling, <laughs> tickling preachers in some churches might be telling you, or is it you know the infallible Word of God and His His way, right? Um, I believe that what God says is true is true, and what He says is false is false. So if He says someone's false, even though they come in His name, they're false. If He says I did not send them don't do what they say, then he did not send them, don't do what they say. If something is not coming from him, it is false, because he cannot lie. He is truth, he is all truth. And his son Yeshua is all truth. So I want y'all to remember that. I want you to live it, love it, and share it, and understand that truth comes from the most high. It does, he created all of this. So the things that are true are from him. Things that are false, you know, they're not of him. There's an adversary that basically is, is sharing falsehood wherever he can go to grab as many of you as he can. So you need, to, you need to cling to the truth and let the truth make you free as Yeshua promised all of his Talmudim, his disciples. So I want y'all to have a blessed day. Finish strong today. Be a blessing to someone. Um, be the light in a dark world and always grasp a hold of truth and abide in it. Yeshua is truth. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Abide in Him and you'll produce much fruit. Apart from Him, you can do absolutely nothing. Have an abundant evening. Shalom.